Hello South Africa. Today is Tuesday, June 20, 2023 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Derek Hugard has a 50% chance of waking up from coma. Former Springboks fly half Derek Hugard has a 50% chance of awakening from the coma he has been in since June 10. He is currently in the intensive care unit of a Pretoria hospital after being found unconscious by his girlfriend, singer Nadine, more than a week ago. According to Rapport, Nadine noticed that Hugert's hands were blue, and after she failed to wake him up, she called an ambulance. It took paramedics an hour and a half to stabilize him. Fuel price latest, petrol, diesel data, good and bad news for July 2023. In just over two weeks from now the new petrol and prices for July 2023 will take effect. For now, the latest numbers from the Central Energy Fund, CEF, bode better for petrol drivers than diesel car owners. Below, the latest projections as received by the South African website from the CEF, effective Friday, June 16, 2023. Gotrain strike looming, here's what workers are demanding. The National Union of Metalworkers of South Africa, NAMSA, says it is outrageous that Bombala Operating Company which operates the GoTrain wants to abolish staff cards that allow workers to travel to and from work using the train for free. NAMSA which was engaging in wage talks has deadlocked with the GoTrain management. The union has also been issued with a strike certificate to ballot its members in preparation for the strike on June 28. Rand Water postpones major 58-hour shutdown in Joburg. Potable water supplier, Rand Water, has confirmed that the 58-hour planned water shutdown in Johannesburg is postponed until further notice. The planned water outage would have started at 1900 hours on Tuesday, June 20, to Thursday, June 22 at 1500 hours. Rand Water said the purpose of the planned shutdown is to complete a tie-in between the A19 and B14 with a new pipeline, installation of isolation valves, and system upgrades at its Eichenhof pump station. The company said the Johannesburg water infrastructure supplied by the Eichenhof pump station would be affected by no water supply. It was also estimated that full recovery of systems may take approximately five days or longer after the supply has been fully restored. Proposal to reopen Kempton Park Hospital falls on deaf ears. Democratic Alliance, DA, says its efforts in proposing for the Gauteng provincial government to utilize Kempton Park Hospital have fallen on deaf ears. Bronwyn Engelbrecht MPL, DA constituency head for Kempton Park, said for several years both the Gauteng Department of Health and the Department of Infrastructure and Development, did, have dodged taking responsibility for the reutilization of this abandoned hospital. She said the DA has been requesting that the government reopen the hospital or refurbish it for commercialization purposes that will benefit the residents of Kempton Park and surrounding areas. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp, 060, 011. 021-1. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.